Hey guys, welcome back to the O&D Life. Today we are getting orange and dirty, as you can see. But really today's going to be kind of a uh, update video, um, just a pay it forward video, um, just a little bit of rambling, so indulge me a little bit. You know, it is Memorial Day weekend. And I just wanted to take a minute uh, to, to pay my respects to the men and women who served the country and, and gave the ultimate sacrifice and, uh, you know, to protect our freedoms, to allow us to be able to enjoy this weekend. And, you know, just wanted to take that minute to, uh, to, to, you know, recognize the ultimate sacrifice that they made and their families that are left here. So thank you, and um, gosh, I, I, I don't I don't know what else to say. And so, in that tone, I think on Memorial Day weekend, I, I'm going to try to remember to do a video like this from now on, and um, just kind of pay things forward a little bit, share some some information that I have um, about using the tractor. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, having a YouTube channel and um, you know I, I, I got a great response on the last video where um, guys were talking about um, where what their weather was and some guys I realized m more guys than I realized have uh, some YouTube channels so uh, you know and I just watched a Dave knows how video where he talked about going down to the comments and looking and seeing some of the guys with channels and and checking out their channel so I wanted wanted to do the same thing so let's see here where are we gonna start I'm as you can see I'm mucking you guys have seen me do this multiple times um, one thing I wanted to share is um, last weekend I was doing this and the mud was muck was a little heavier it's been dry for the full week so this this weekend, I had no problem getting my buckets up over the edge of the dump trailer. Last weekend, I had some loads that I couldn't raise it up to the full height. And uh, what I learned is that if I keep trying to raise my bucket and kind of give it a little gas to inch forward, it would actually, uh, you know, go up about an inch. And so I kept doing that and got it over the edge. So that's the first... Uh, tip for you guys you'll see me try and uh, simulate that on multiple dumps um, just where I'm slowly lifting it up and then I'll give it some gas to lurch forward and that momentum helps the bucket and the hydraulics if you're trying to lift at the same time that momentum helps uh, lift it just a little bit so you do that a few times and you get the clearance that you need I had one bucket full uh, last weekend that uh, I could barely get it to the fender well it was so heavy but then using that trick I got it all the way on up so so that's pretty handy of course be careful you know having a raised loader <laughs> that's full uh, makes you more tippy so definitely be careful make sure you're on some level ground relatively level ground and not doing anything crazy use your head okay another item that I thought I'd talk about um, for some of you aspiring uh, YouTube creators uh, that, that think you might want to or have a channel it's on the smaller end um, you know John Ritter, he had started a Facebook uh, group, uh, Tractor Tube, for for those channels that are have 500 subscribers. Um, so there was some guys I, I saw on his video where he announced that were pretty uh, ticked off that he he set that limit. Um, you know what? Hey, he, it it's his channel, um, his page. Um, he he you know set a set a line set a bar and uh, you know that gives you something to strive to get up to but I thought I'd um, you know share some of my uh, 
thoughts on uh, growing a channel. Now, I'm not one of the biggest channels by any means. Um, make a little bit of money off of the ad revenue. And, um, you know, it keeps me, keeps me motivated in that regard. I, one of the key things that uh, Paul Sargent um, kind of tuned me into was um, pick, you know, pick something and stick with it. Don't be all over the place. And, um, you know, I was kind of doing some homesteading stuff and tractor stuff. And then I, I really started to focus more on the tractor stuff. That, and that's when the channel really started to pick up more viewers. Uh, the second thing that I'd uh, recommend is that you, uh, you know, pick topics that people are going to be searching on Google or in YouTube. You know, so it might be a product that you have, um, you know, when I got the tractor, I had gotten some some pieces of equipment with it, and you know, just start off there. You know, doing some videos on it, or a review, or a closer look, because what I found is that when I was getting the tractor, I was looking for videos on using it, and you know, just couldn't get enough of them. So uh, try and pick topics, do videos, and then title them with that in mind. A YouTube search in the keywords um, I think that has helped me I don't know I can't quantify it but I think that has helped me uh, one of the things um, that came up on tractor tube uh, in one of our discussions was um, the fact that so many of our views are non subscribers and you know kind of what drove that and I, I think because I have 92% 90 to 92% um, of my views on my channel are non-subscribers and I think that's due to uh, Google searches basically and, and and then a lot of these people you know are just going on to look at find a video on that topic or on that piece of equipment and you know then they watch a video that uh, you know a lot of these people don't even have YouTube accounts so they probably can't subscribe um, can't like can't comment if they don't have an account so um, but you still want to get those views that the view count is uh, pretty important subscriber count wh what I found you know I, I think John Ritter's done a really good job uh, Mike Morgan has done a fantastic job with really building a subscriber base and being able to uh, you know bring people along for the entertainment value I think that's what you have to kind of do a mixture of entertainment uh, stuff and then keyword type of videos that's that people are searching for anyway that's just my two cents on that I think one other thing I might mention is do what works for you some people are really good in front of the camera look very natural I'm not that person so as you can see I do a lot of voiceovers that's kind of my crutch I guess you'd say um, you know I cannot hold the camera still and do selfie shots which you'll see here in just a little bit <laughs> I, and, and I don't multitask good so I find just let me work on what I'm doing I'll record it and then I'll do a voiceover afterwards and uh that's what works for me you um, you'll have to find what works for you you know for me also you know I, I'm I, I don't pay a lot of attention to what I'm wearing or how I'm dressed um, you could say I have a face a body and a uh, outfit and clothes um, for radio so, <laughs> anyways find what works for you and, and what you're comfortable with because then I think that'll come across in your videos here we'll let this play out and uh, give you a, a live shot here in just a minute all right let's go dump
you'll see that I have the uh, well thought I was gonna show it to you it's hard to drive it got the remote right back here I am gonna have to shut the gate but it's kind of nice because I can uh, pull that you know it's not cordless but it's long enough that I can uh, bring it in through the back window and then once I go open the gates I can get back in back up and raise it and then lower it also so that kind of makes it nice I'm gonna give you guys a view from the dump dump bed okay and then the last four minutes here you know I haven't been able to watch as much YouTube as I like to and uh, I just want to give some shout outs to some other creators that uh, watch my channel and and comment and and just kind of you know send you guys over there in case you're not aware of them a lot of them you probably will be aware of but maybe uh, maybe uh, they'll be new to you so you know um, where, where do I start I, oh what I haven't been able to watch much um, so you know I, I still see their names uh, you know showing up in my um, comments when I do post a video and I just want to make sure and uh, get sh share share the love I guess you can say even though I can't always uh, watch their videos as, as much as I'd like to now and uh, comment a lot of times if I do watch one it's uh, watch one or listen to one it's while I'm driving so um, you know I, I, I gotta draw the line somewhere and not be commenting so anyways um, I want to give a shout out to uh, to the following creators and channels so we've got um, let me go through my list here I got Jim's equipment shed <laughs> Jim's a funny guy he's got a great channel coyote CS 2410 uh, good good little channel he's got a coyote tractor Don over there at Houndsman one we got John over at Louisiana aquaponics also of course John Ritter you guys know about him uh, Joe Lesage <laughs> he's got a, a really good channel Grampy's workshop I really enjoy his uh, pleasant nature that's a guy that has uh, some of the it factor um, Alaska the AK dad stuff Alaska you know <laughs> I'm assuming it's Alaska but let's hear and then Robert Klein he uh, cut you know wrote wrote a comment on the last video um, talking about how he just posted up a, a series a playlist on the HST fan so I just went over to his channel and subscribed and uh, hope I never have to replace the HST fan but um, I'll, I'll definitely be checking out his videos might might check them out anyway just out of curiosity and that's Klein with a C C L I N E Robert Klein um, and then also Chris S he's got a, a BX uh, 2680 I believe it is um, he's got some fun videos did a really great uh, interview with Tony Ashwell over at uh, AI2 where I went over there visited and uh, got a tour of the place so anyways guys hope you guys like the video you know uh, have a safe weekend and uh, keep keep those families in mind that uh, have lost loved uh, service members and um, you know that's that's why we get into that the freedoms that we have so anyways you guys stay safe you guys already know about GP outdoors I didn't want to leave him out. He's been a subscriber for a long time.